Hi everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome back to the lecture series for C++. So in the previous lecture we have seen how to uh, download and install code blocks and we have started with the first Hello World program. Okay, so in this video we are going to see the theoretical part of C++ and uh, trust me this will be the only video which will consisting of theory. Other videos will be practical based because we believe in uh, learning by doing. Alright. So this video will be theoretical uh, theory based and we are going to see uh, the introduction for C++ of some history of C++ and we are going to see other theoretical concepts. Alright, after that all the lectures are going to be practical based so that you can get the actual feel of what C++ is. Alright, so let's get started with this lecture. Okay, so as you can see on my screen. C++ was basically developed by at and Bell lab Laboratories, alright. So uh, C was uh, developed in the beginning and then uh, there were some issues with C, so it was extended to C++. And that plus plus sign uh, we see is due to the increment or decrement operator which is present in C++. You have, uh, okay, if you have some experience you have seen in the for loop or uh, many times we increment the statement using i++ or like that. So from there this plus plus uh, is originated. Alright. So now uh, this is the C++ character sets which, uh, which are the characters which uh, C++ can identify that is these are being programmed while writing the C++ language. So the letters from A to Z capital A to Z and small a to Z are there all the digits are there. These special uh, symbols that is space, space for white space, all the operators plus minus divide multiply power, okay, backslash, parenthesis, square brackets, curly brackets, equal to, not equal to, angular brackets, less than equal to, greater than equal to, less than, greater than, all these signs semicolon at the rate, uh, dollar sign, question mark, all these special symbols it is able to identify white spaces, uh, blank space, horizontal tab, new line, uh, these kind of white spaces uh, C++ is able to understand. Okay, other characters, uh, basically it is, uh, it is able to process any of the characters of ASCII series, okay, ASCII characters as data or as literals. Okay, so uh, now uh, coming to a token, what is a token? So the smallest individual unit in the program is known as token okay so that is uh, there is a smallest unit for example we declare an integer int a is equal to 5 so the smallest individual unit that is int this is uh, a token okay or a lexical unit so there are following types of tokens that is keywords identifiers literals punctuators and operators okay as i said int a is equal to 5 int is a token a is a token so let's see what these tokens are so keywords, keywords are basically the reserved word for special purposes. For example, when we need to declare integer, we use int. Okay, so that is a reserved word. You can see these is, these are the list of reserved word. Uh, this is int int. Okay, that is when you use oh, wait, yeah, when you use int int. It is not going to accept it as a variable. Okay, uh, it is going to understand that you are defining integer using it. Similarly, this float is used for a decimal. Okay, and this is uh, public. This keyword is used to declare the scope uh, in the classes. Uh, that is a concept for later on. Okay, for is used for a keyword that is uh, for loop. Similarly, else for if else statement if for if else statement go to statement okay short signed unsigned size of all these these are reserved words okay that is these uh, words have their meaning which is already declared in the c++ that's how c++ is able to understand what we are trying to convey next thing is identifier so identifier is basically as i said we write the statement We write the statement, let's say int a is equal to 5. Okay, we write that. So now what will happen? 
uh, is int is the keyword okay and this a or uh, it seems like q any anything anything here this is an identifier okay so now uh, like i have declared int a is equal to 5 there are some rules for defining the identifiers because it is not going to understand anything it is not going to take everything as identifier for example you can't declare int uh, 2 is equal to 5 and use 2 as identifier that will be invalid so there are some rules that is identifier uh, first of all identifier is a long sequence of letters and digits so in an identifier the first character must be a letter okay and uh, not any uh, no special character is allowed except the underscore all right for example if you declare let's say dollar a so this will be invalid but if you declare underscore a this will be valid all right so first character must be a letter and underscore is allowed upper and lower case letters are different so uh, basically if you declare somewhere an integer and you say int a is equal to 5 ok so remember uh, the, and uh, you in anywhere in the program you try to use this a so here this small a is not equal to the capital A alright that is C++ in C++ upper and lower case characters are different alright so uh, let's see some examples of valid and invalid identifiers ok so here you can see my file here there are all the characters uh, ok and uh, all the letters and upper and lower case letters are valid so it is valid similarly here uh, if this is a uh, first letter first thing is a letter ok and this after that it can uh, include numbers so this thing is valid and there are underscore that's valid as well alright only underscore is valid as special character next again number and characters and first one is a letter so it is also valid all the letters are uppercase it is valid as well starting with underscore followed by letters again valid this is also valid and so is this so here uh, invalid identifiers this is a special character so uh, which is somewhat uh, which is different than underscore so it is not valid now here uh, it is beginning with a digit thus not valid break it is a reserved keyword alright hence it is not valid as well and my dot file it contains this special character dot so it is not valid as well so these are the valid and invalid identifiers now next thing is literals or constant so uh, basically data items that never change their value uh, in a program these are constants okay that is uh, we do not want to change the value uh, in a program in a c++ program all right so uh, there are some examples that is bool literal this is for boolean okay this is for boolean so you we all know that boolean gives 1 for true and it gives 0 for false all right we uh, if you have learned in logic gates you can see it basically represent true or false value ok or if you talk in terms of analog circuits it uh, gives high or low value alright high value or low value ok sorry for that writing I am actually using the trackpad so that's why it is very bad handwriting ok so anyways uh, the integer constants uh, basically the whole numbers without any fraction part are the integer constants ok for example we define int a is equal to let's say we define 5 so this is an integer constant we can define as minus 5 as well that's alright ok and there are three types of integer constant that is on the base 10 
बेस एट और हेक्सा डेसिमल टाइप बेस सिक्सटीन ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट थिंग इज कैरेक्टर सो हाउ टू डिफाइन अ कैरेक्टर जस्ट रिमेंबर एनी कैरेक्टर शुड बी डिफाइंड इन द सिंगल कोटेशन मार्क ओके दैट इज स्लैश कोटेशन मार्क ए सिंगल कोटेशन मार्क ऑल राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू डिफाइन इट इज डिफाइंड यूजिंग द कैरेक्टर सी वर्ड की वर्ड कैर सी एच दैट इज सी एच इज द कैरेक्टर विच वी आर डिफाइनिंग एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ सी एच विल बी इन अ सिंगल कोड दैट इज कैर सी एच इज इक्वल टू स्मॉल ए इन सिंगल कोड्स सो इट विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट वेर एवर दिस सी एच इज यूज इट मीन्स स्मॉल ए ओके सो बेसिकली दीज वैल्यूज वी कैन आइदर डिफाइन बाय using the character in the quotes or we can use the sky value as well all right for example capital a sky value is 65 and small c sky value is 99 so we can use that as well although in most of the time we are going to use uh, the single quotes characters okay so now it is uh, the escape sequence uh, which uh, we are going to use in c++ so now uh, what is escape sequence Uh, for example let's say you are using uh, you are uh, giving an input okay you are giving user an option for input so you are going to write this statement that is c out okay and if you remember we need two angular brackets so c out okay you are giving the option write something and let's say you have declared the integer okay so now you are going to use here c in okay let me just yeah uh, okay let me just use this so let's say you are writing a statement that is c out enter a number all right and you have declared a number above integer that is int 10 and now you are going to write c in that is n all right so now what will happen in this program that uh, when this enter a number is going to be printed on screen after this enter a number in the same line only it will give option to enter the number in this line only all right but if you use the slash n as the escape sequence like this so now what will happen user will have the option to enter the number in new line okay let me just create a small project okay yeah so you can see here uh, let's in the program all right so let me just increase the size yeah so now it is fine so in this program let's declare an integer in then and here we are giving the user to option to write a number all right and here we are going to use c in n okay and okay this end l is also for end line that is slash n that's one and the same thing so first i am going to write before uh, without uh, slash n or end line okay so yeah program is running and you see write a number it is giving option to write a number here all right if we use uh, slash n that is this escape sequence or we use slash uh, or we use end l that is one in the same thing so we are going to use slash n and let's see so you can see now it is giving the option to write a number in the next line all right so these are the escape sequences and uh, you can see here these keywords that is int these are coming for different color that is blue or c out is turning green because these are the reserved words and this in here 
this is the identifier all right let's say if we define it as in 3n so it is not going to work you can see color is also changed to pink and there is an error all right but if we use this underscore the program is going to work just fine okay yeah this should also be seen in slash n yeah underscore n and you can see here the program is working fine so these are the various escape sequences which we use in c++ okay so uh, we have seen the use of slash n yeah we have seen the use of slash n that is for new line similarly slash t is used to give the horizontal tab slash b is for backspace slash r for is for return slash a is for audible bell okay basically some compilers uh, gives a sound uh, a bell sound using slash a okay some compilers do that some don't okay for uh, now if you want to print a single quotation mark okay uh, you can see whenever we declare a character in c++ we use character declare character like this char ch is equal to a okay so now uh, let's say if we want to print uh, here the we, we want to print this a with a single quotation mark so if we write like this it is not going to print that okay uh, let me just remove this line yeah see uh, this a is written but it is without single quotes okay if you want to write uh, a with single quotes or with double quotes then uh, what you need to do is you need to use the escape sequence all right so for that you need to use this escape sequence okay and let's just run the program now okay yeah it is also a character so we need to print here either we could print ch or we could print that character anyway you can see now a is printed with single inverted commas similarly for double inverted comma we use a escape sequence like this and now a is printed with double inverted commas all right so now similarly these are various other escape sequences now this is for question mark backslash form field vertical tab null value octal and hexadecimal values okay now next thing is floating constant all right so floating constants basically can be written uh, floating constant is for decimal numbers okay that is having a fractional part so it can be written in two forms okay this is a fractional form and exponent form so fractional form consists of signed or unsigned digit okay that is uh, there is at least one digit before the decimal all right for example 2.0 17.5 minus 13.0 etc exponent form has two parts mandis and exponents that is 5.8 if you have seen the scientific notation okay 5.8 can be expressed as 0.58 into 10 to the power 1 so here this 10 to the power 1 becomes e01 that is this is equal to 0.58 into e01 okay let's say if uh, it was 58.8 all right then it will become 0.58 into 10 to the power 2 0.58 into 10 to the power 2 all right so it will become 0.58 into uh, 88 e02 okay so that's how we define floating constant now coming to the st uh, string literals okay Mul these are the multiple character constants and these are surrounded by double quotes now Uh, we are coming towards the punctuators you can see these different kind of brackets these things we are using in the c++ program so basically square brackets is used for defining single and multi dimensional array these curly brackets is used for uh, denote uh, denoting the starting and ending of compound statement we have seen we have used them after the int main 
method we have used in our program. Parenthesis is for functions. Uh, we are going to see that later. Okay, comma basically separates arguments in a function list. Asterisk is used for pointer declaration. All right. And similarly, these punctuators, semicolon, colon, uh, equal to sign. All these we have seen, we have used in a uh, program. Semicolon is used for terminator, terminating the statement. Uh, colon indicates a label statement equal to sign is used for a variable initialization. All right. So this is how uh, these are the basic uh, basics of C++ and these are the basic characters. Okay, so this might be the case that you are not able to remember everything here, but as soon as you practice uh, the programs, you are going to able to identify what everything is. All right, so that's why uh, this theory covering this theory was important. So now you are able to understand what this int, uh, what character C out, what everything means. All right, and here we why are we using slash in all these brackets semicolon what does this actually signify so that's why this theoretical lecture was necessary now from after after this lecture we are going to see operators data types other statements loops etc okay and uh, you are going to understand everything as soon as you uh, practice the programs and watch further lectures so that's why uh, it was necessary to give you an overview Okay, you don't need to remember uh, or you, you don't need to uh, learn everything, remember everything. Okay, you need to just practice so that your mind can automatically recall. Okay, so this is all for this video. See you guys in the next video.